A second round of applications for COVID relief opened this week, giving businesses in the state who've seen at least a 15% decrease from last year a chance to boost their business. What you need to know to apply and where your application for the first round of grants may stand, that's in tonight's Your Money Matters. If we can get something um, after the holiday season and help us get through the next month or two, that would be it's a good time. Nikki Ellerbrook owns McNally's Irish Pub in Sioux Falls. She applied for the first round of South Dakota's grant program back in October, covering the impact of her business from March through August. Oh, we're down, I would say, 40 percent. Her first grant application is still processing, like many of the nearly 6,000 small businesses who applied in October. Yep, hanging in limbo. Wow. So we get we get calls and emails daily. Teresa Kosak works at an accounting firm where she helped 27 clients apply for the grant in October. We've had two confirmations and they got their award amounts. Actually, this just happened yesterday. There's a number of them that have not been done. We Cassie Stozer, the finance director for the governor's office of economic development, says the consultants running the grant program are hiring more staff and working extra hours to process all of the applications. But soon they'll also have the new round of applications for September through November losses. They only have until December 20th, so we've only got a very short time period, um, but that's because uh, the CRF dollars need to be allocated by the end of the year. Businesses that applied in October can apply again. The process was very, very cumbersome, especially if, I mean, if it was cumbersome for us, I can't even imagine a, a business that was applying on their own. The state says the process is simplified and will be much faster for second time applicants. Get started on it right away and um, give yourself time to collect the information that you need. Ellerbrook says the effort is worth it to get any kind of help during this difficult season. Currently, with the numbers rising and flu season, um, it's it, we're hit even harder than we were this summer when it kind of started. Right now they're struggling. I mean, it's winter time, it's the holidays, people don't have money. Um, it's, it's definitely been more of an impact this time frame from the September to October than it was that first one. The grants are for any year-over-year -year losses. If you have any questions, we've included contact information for the state's hotline.